Hey everyone, welcome back to Build Tune Race. Tonight we're out at Pulp Motorsports Park and we're getting ready to do an on-prep Steel City shootout, which is like the no preps that we've been running, but we're actually on prep tonight. Uh, Birdman's here, Marilla's here. They're just kind of doing a cool thing for the community. So, and I can tell. so they're just kind of doing a cool little shootout here and we got like nine cars and small tires. So we're going to see what we can do. And uh, something's looking nice and clean, looking good. We got tune-up in it, the track's super prepped, so hopefully we can go down this one. Uh, I know we struggled the other night, but this is why we're here, hopefully on good prep, and it'll go down first one, then we'll just keep turning up throughout the night and see how fast we can go. Only eighth mile a day, so we got a better, I think like a 559 is the best we've been in Salty. So let's see if we can get a better than a 559 tonight. Alright, we're up here for our first test. Hopefully Salty knows what we need it to do, it goes right down. I pedaled because it was going towards center so I just need to get the car to try to go straight so I think I'm going to either mess with the anti roll bar or put some rear steer in it I had to bring the rear end in when it rubbed the tire and but in Denver it didn't try to like drive it tried to drive right and there it tried to drive right so I guess there has been a few instances that where the car wants to go right so either I need to put a little bit of left steer in it or I need to uh, put a little bit in the anti roll bar but it doesn't look like it's twisting the car all that much so uh, I don't know, I might just try to put a little rear steer in it, like a half a turn in the bar, and see if that corrects it. All right, here we go, pass two. We gave it a little rear steer, Let's see what it does. Hopefully it acts right. Lots of fast up here tonight, so we're just trying to run our race and 
better, made it pretty happy. Uh, I didn't carry the wheels. I'm gonna try to tighten down the front suspension so then it hopefully it'll carry us out a little bit further and not just drag the tire so far um, and keep that tire planted. I threw more in it. I upped the two step 100 RPM, threw more boost in it up top and brought the ramp in sooner. So hopefully we can go like a 540 something here, uh, maybe even 530 and uh, maybe 137, 138. I don't know. We're gonna see what this thing will, uh, will do with a little bit more boost in it. This will be the most boost we've ever had in it. Around a small tire, pulled up the lanes. We're gonna do chip draw, figure out who we're racing, and we'll go. I'm just putting the tune up in it for what I think I can do best. Whoever we race is whoever we race. All right, guys, so we got the little silver pickup that we ran up at SCT in the semifinals. So we'll uh, get us another rematch with this one and see if we can get a W. It's a fast little truck, it is, it runs dang good. So hopefully we've got enough and salty to get around them. Uh, it is not gonna be given to us by any means on this one. So 543, uh, to give you guys an idea, even being conservative, go 543 times 1.5, 1 1.56, yeah, 847. So it's probably like an 830-ish pass or whatever, but um, I don't know, we'll figure it out. I'm gonna look over data, a little frustrated, a little happy. The car's just not super stable and I gotta figure out why, but uh, might be time for another alignment. Maybe something got a little goofed up or whatever, but. Let's uh, look over that and see what we got. So I had one little pedal in it, so it definitely would have went a deep 40, even a high 30. But I'm actually losing fuel pressure, and I gotta figure out why that is. So maybe I need to verify both pumps are on and both pumps are on high or whatever, because it's starting to need that amount of fuel pressure. So I need to, it started to go actually lean out the back, which is probably why it was running like crap. So we're only at 48 pounds of fuel pressure, and it should have been at probably almost 70. And uh, it started to go a little lean, so not. Not ideal, so I might even need to pull some plugs, check everything. EGTs looked okay, like they didn't seem to get like crazy out of hand. So I think I'm okay there, but um, I don't know. Not not super stoked about that whole situation. Yeah, EGTs are no higher than they've been, but uh, not good if it's going lean, so we need to figure that out. In the data log, number one actually fell off on the EGTs, so just to be safe, she just went ahead and pulled a plug. That's what we got. So C16 super weird. It kind of this is what it looks like in the pipe too. It's kind of that like grayish look, but um, I mean it's still there. But it definitely is going lean. So uh, I might pull a couple more just to be careful or be safe. But I'm gonna put this back in, look at some more data, and then verify the second fuel pump is coming on. It shows that it signaled it in the tune but I just need to make sure in the car it was coming on as well. Comes up the small tire final, the truck we ran that beat us, and then the Snot Rocket, which is a drag and drive car that can go like 650s in the quarters. So I got it, 518, 133 to a 536, 141. It's dark, it's quite a few hours later, and Trevor and Joey, Trevor's over there, was, we were looking at everything, and we were talking about fuel pressure and fuel pumps and all that stuff, and I was like, you know what? Really weird that it just so happened to drop to right around base pressure of like 48 pounds or whatever. So Trevor was looking at things, and actually that line right there was 
very loose, like four or five turns loose, right? Like almost off. So it was definitely leaking out of that. So what we're thinking is maybe it was letting all the reference air out and then that's what was dropping fuel pressure because it was already losing fuel pressure at lower boost than the past prior where it had consistent fuel pressure. So I think that thing just loosened up and then we lost fuel pressure. Um, it was dropping back because I, I sat here for two hours playing with like low and uh, the pump's going from low to high and high to low and I think everything was fine there. I'm gonna triple check that for next time. And then we made that tight. So I'll probably just put it on a lower boost, try again and then see what we got. So otherwise new PV for the car. So pretty happy about that.